It's Sunday morning, and in this beautiful church in South Lexington, we gather as a congregation to worship. Nearly 850 people are on the active membership role at Tates Creek Christian Church, a growing body of believers. We exist to win people to Christ, to build up believers in faith, knowledge, and service, to help those in need, and to stand up for Christian values. And although Sunday morning worship services are a focal point, the church serves God, you, and the community in so many other ways. In fact, our church has always been growing and serving, even from the very beginning. Tate's Creek Christian Church was born just a few months after the end of World War II. The first church building was this 40 by 20 foot structure up on High Street. Less than two years later, that small space was replaced by a newly constructed basement unit. And then four years after that, this structure was built above the basement. Today, that building is a dance studio. Helen Hitchner has been a member of Tate's Creek Christian Church from the very beginning. Today, she's the only surviving charter member. And when she passes by the building that used to be her church home, it brings back lots of fond memories. Well, about the first Sunday we opened, I guess we had, I guess we had a hundred there, but uh, it just the the neighbors and the people around there started coming, and we just started growing. It it was amazing how quickly the it grew up. We always had we had around 150 to 200 people there. Over the years, the church continued to grow, and more space was needed. In 1974, we moved into our current facility. Soon after that, we added dual services, and as membership increased, we once again needed more space. This need was met over time by adding the fellowship hall and more classrooms. And finally, in 1996, a larger worship center was constructed. We've come a long way. Four generations of the Clem family sitting together on Sunday morning is a good example of how the legacy of our church is being passed on. Today, our church is serving God more than ever. We support missions in six countries and the United States. And ministries within the church are growing by leaps and bounds. We're reaching more people than ever. But in order for growth to continue, we need to maximize our campus by adding new facilities that will give us even more tools for ministry. Sunday school attendance is at an all-time high, and both adult and children's classrooms are bursting at the seams. Superintendent Kent Mason is finding it more and more difficult to find rooms for additional classes. He has no choice but to consider rooms like this. Right now, our only option to start a new class is to take this storage room, move everything out, and convert it into a classroom. The children's ministry is facing growing pains as well. Parents check their children into Uptown Studio, where they fellowship until it's time to be led to another part of the building for Sunday school. It's inconvenient and inefficient. Meanwhile, back in Uptown Studio, Larry and Brenda Critchfield are setting up a temporary classroom because there are no more permanent classrooms available. And during class, the sounds of other children arriving for Uptown Studio can be distracting. And as you can see, it's, it's not a, an ideal classroom. We're thankful for the room that we have, but, but it is not an ideal classroom. It is, it is darker, it's, it doesn't have the lighting that is really needed. Growth has pretty much maxed out Fellowship Hall. It's getting more difficult to hold church-wide gatherings in here because of its size. Oasis on Wednesday evenings is a good example. We need more room for this important weekly event. Holding our annual picnic at Bluegrass Christian Camp gives us plenty of room, but it would be difficult to hold a large family-oriented event such as this back at church. And we really don't have any large area suitable for large-scale youth activities. In the past, we've, we've taken our children to other churches to be a part of their recreational leagues that they have there, such as Upward and, and the I Am Third League, which offer basketball and, and soccer type fellowships for children. And uh, we'd love to have something like that here at Tate's Creek that we could, we could keep our children at and, and also invite their friends to. Uh, it's a wonderful outreach. Our church has other needs as well. For example, our library needs to be in its own dedicated room. We need a more efficient centralized office suite that has a larger work area that isn't as cramped as our current one. Our vision team and master's plan team took a long hard look at short and long-term needs. 
The recommendations were presented and approved by the church leadership and the congregation. The result was the master's plan, which includes as one of its immediate action items the construction of an 18,000 square foot addition and renovations that will open up vast opportunities for enhanced ministry and outreach. The project is expected to cost approximately three million dollars. I'm walking on top of our current fellowship hall. From the time this building was constructed, it was our plan to build on top of it. Originally, it was to be our new worship center, but those plans have changed, and now we have the opportunity to build a different kind of building that will allow us many other ministry opportunities. Two additional floors will be built atop Fellowship Hall, and the new addition will perfectly match the architecture of our worship center. There will be 11 new classrooms for children and adults. This will alleviate the overcrowding we're now experiencing at all age levels. The existing first floor will be renovated. About half of the Fellowship Hall will become elementary classrooms. This will be adjacent to the current Uptown Studio, creating a secured, centralized elementary-aged children's department. The entrance to the children's department will be the current entrance to the church office. The first thing you'll see is the check-in counter. Turn right and this hall will take you to a fellowship area where the children can wait for their class or service to begin. And adjacent to this area, there will be five classrooms, one for each grade level. The second floor of the new addition will include five new adult classrooms and a centralized office suite that can be easily accessed from the front of the church. The third floor will feature a large multi-purpose room that will be able to accommodate church-wide events. A large kitchen will make it easier to serve meals. This room will also be used for athletic outreach programs and will include a full-size basketball court and an elevated walking track. The new addition will also include a dedicated prayer room, an additional elevator, and additional restrooms. The plan also calls for some renovation of existing facilities. For example, the two youth minister offices will be converted into storage area and a location for teaching resources. The existing preschool area will be renovated and enhanced with a new check-in counter and more limited access. We'll have a more efficient, streamlined check-in process and some more measures will be taken to help out with security so we don't have to worry about strangers wandering into this part of the building. In order to make this plan a reality, we've entered into a capital stewardship program called Growing to Serve. It's going to be your opportunity to get involved in this new exciting chapter in the life of our church. This project has been bathed in prayer since the very beginning. It's been bathed in prayer that each action that's taken throughout this entire project will be to the will of God and that we will not only serve now, but we will continue serving and continue growing to serve into the future. In order for Growing to Serve to be successful, it will take each person giving over and above the current giving during the next three years. The future depends on what is accomplished now. In order to fulfill the next step in God's vision for the Tate's Creek Christian Church, which is the building of this additional facility, the financial support of every person is essential. The financial support of every man, every woman, every child is required. This kind of a financial challenge means sacrificial giving. Sacrificial giving goes above and beyond our regular giving of tithes and offerings. Sacrificial giving challenges us, stretches our faith to trust God to provide for our needs. We might ask the question, well, how do I know specifically the amount that God desires for me to invest in this step of His vision for the future of Tate's Creek? That's a good question. We arrive at that amount as an individual or as a family by spending time together in prayer and thought. This kind of process requires a spirit of generosity, it requires faith, and it also requires a commitment to sacrifice in order to invest in the future for Tate's Creek Christian Church. We have been greatly blessed by the faithful generosity and the sacrificial giving of previous generations. Every generation is essential in the kingdom of God. Every generation is important in the church. And at Tate's Creek Christian Church, we are a five generation church. As Moses said to Pharaoh, we will come with our young and with our old. We will come with our sons and with our daughters. And now it is the time for this generation 
to step up to the plate and shoulder this great responsibility of passing on to the next generation a great legacy of faith. The theme of our Capital Stewardship Program is Growing to Serve. This theme challenges us to fulfill the purpose Jesus has given to his church. That purpose is twofold. One is to share the gospel of Jesus Christ with the lost. And secondly, to equip those who come to him to grow in their relationship with him through faith and through involvement in service. Now, someone has said to be young is to sit in the shade of a tree that we did not plant. To be mature is to plant a tree in the shade of which we may never sit. I'm asking you as we think about God's vision for Tate Street Christian Church, I'm asking you as we think about the future of his kingdom to invest in his kingdom. I'm asking you along with me to commit financially to this capital stewardship program in order to fulfill God's vision that he has for Tate's Creek Christian Church. And I'm asking us together to sacrifice so that others can come to Jesus Christ, people of whom we may never see in this life, and yet in eternal glory with our Lord, rejoice with those who have come to him just because we were willing to sacrifice for his kingdom.